Hey guys, welcome back to another video about the mobility scooter. In this video, we're going to be doing the brakes, which we got off of Amazon, both the master cylinder and the caliper with the brake line and the brake rotor. So we're going to be installing that today. We're thinking on having it on the passenger side. So it'd be something like this. And then with the handbrake, so that's gonna be pretty cool. There's gonna be like lots of fabricating, making flanges for the caliper. And we're gonna show all of that because these are very common. So hopefully we can get the brake system done in this video. So we got this old bar from a jack and we, we got like one of these rubber things from an old bike. Just put it on here and then this side we heat it up, hammered it, made it flat and this we're going to use as our handbrake. It's going to be mounted down here and then we're going to have the reservoir like weld something on maybe. Uh, yeah like a flange and then have the reservoir and then when you pull it it would put push the reservoir in, pumping up the brakes, so 
just took some heat and hammered. So now we're gonna take it, install it on to the frame, handbrake first, and then we're gonna figure out the caliper. And hopefully we can have brakes done for today. All right, guys, so we finally got the handbrake on. Works nice, it's nice, like the height that we wanted it. So what we're gonna move on to now is the reservoir. And we're gonna have to drill these holes just a little bit bigger for our bolts. And then we have these things that are gonna get weld. They're like these mini lug nuts. And we're gonna...
Yeah, so this is really nice. It's nice and smooth. We're gonna have complete brakes right after we bleed the brakes. So yeah, enjoy this part of the video. And we actually got a new camera, so we're gonna transfer you guys to that shot. Okay guys, this is the new camera. I hope you guys like it. Uh, comment down below if you could actually see a change in quality. Hope you can because it's an expensive camera. But yeah, we're gonna try to do things from now on a little more in depth, not just time lapses like all our other videos. So yeah, stay tuned for that and enjoy. Okay guys, so we cut the, we we switched the rotor because it was backwards and it needed to be closer and the way it's made, we needed to flip it around. So we flipped it around. We didn't film any of that because that's just um, sliding things off the axle and putting it back on. So we found bolts for the um, caliper and Julian just cut off the bracket that we're going to be welding onto the frame to hold the caliper. So. Yeah, uh, after we get that mounted, we're gonna drill the holes into the uh, mount we welded up, and then we're gonna bolt on the caliper, and then bleed the brakes, and our brake system will be done on this thing. So, yeah, throw you guys on a time lapse. Alright guys, so this is, we got this angle iron, I think it's about an uh, inch and a half, maybe two inches by two inches. So yeah, just some angle iron, uh, pretty thin, but it's really strong, so I mean it's a drift, so we're not going to be going 60 miles on it. But yeah, this thing's pretty nice. So now we're going to go weld it up to the hanger like this, and also bolt true. on the drill holes and bolt the caliper like this. So yeah. Okay hey guys, so I got the caliper mount, uh, sort of sorta how it's going to be, so you see it goes in kind of snug like this. So basically we're going to drill holes for it right here to bolt it on, then we'll weld it and bleed the brakes. So yeah, I, I'm going to grind these down a little bit just to get this to be a little bit lower so that the contact between the discs in the rotor, in the caliper, would touch the rotor more so it would be better braking. So yeah, uh, that's what you guys are gonna see in the next clip. Alrighty guys, so as you can see we got the caliper and this is what our finished product looked like. It's kind of ugly but once it's painted and stuff it will barely be noticeable but as you can see we got the holes in there 
and it's perfect how it is and you can see the caliper has a little bit of tilt so it just make it look cooler on the axle so yeah now we're gonna uh, bolt it bolt these two together then we're gonna uh, tack it in place then we're gonna probably get to bleeding the brakes okay guys so as you can see we this is what the finished product looks like it, uh, it's not welded in but yeah that's what it's gonna look like it, it, it came out really nice like really low profile looking like I really like the way it turned out so now we're gonna tack it in in the next clip and then we're gonna attach the brake line and then we're gonna bleed the brakes and yeah that'll be it for this video Okay guys, so we welded it. That's what the welds look like. They're like slash dime slash dookie. But yeah, that's what the it's the finished product looks. Now we're gonna put the brake line and bleed it. So yeah. But as you can see, this is what the finished product is. We got a handbrake going down to a master cylinder. This is not what the reservoir is gonna look like with the zip tie, but we're gonna change it. And then we got this brake cable going to the caliper, going to the rotor. It took us probably two minutes to bleed this brake system. This brake system was really nice. Uh, so yeah, it's 30 bucks off Amazon, so we'll put that in the description, guys. If you wanna go check it out, uh, yeah, so we're gonna be launching a poll on Instagram about what engine we should get for this thing We're thinking about either getting a ghost the new predator or a 212 or a predator 200 240 224 CC uh, Max performance. So yeah, uh, we're gonna put the <laughs> poll out so the next day after this video comes out so make sure to go check out our Instagram. It's also going to be in the link below. And uh, follow and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully already doing the steering.